Hi everybody, it's me Lagarde Lax and also known as Chino and Artie. I'm just shocked how many Area 51 games was released on the PC. Yes, I bought this for um, at Walmart for $10.99 when it came out. And it's uh, the one I have is a DOS 6.0 and Windows 95. False advertisement. When I played this game, I could not install it on DOS. I would if I played it. If there was a DOS version of this game, this game would not be cropped. It would have been a full screen without the borders, like the Sega Saturn. When I say borders, that's actual in-game screenshot. How it looks like in the Windows. You get this black borders right here to outshot to reload. So um, I'm gonna do unboxing review, no gameplay, and what you get. I kid you not, it was a heavy. They could not fit all the manual in there. Okay, here's the manual, and there's the CD. There we go. I was playing this all the time. And okay, the system requirement on this game, I remember it was it required a Pentium processor. But that time I was running on a 486, a 66 megahertz with 8 megabytes, 60 megabytes of RAM. I upgraded. And that was it with with uh, ser serious logic with one megabytes of video RAM, and I gotta say, it still ran, but very chop not choppy, but just like uh, a little a little uh, sluttered there. But it did work, you know. It didn't restrict me, and the and then also the instruction manual is in color. Yes, I believe Maximum Force was released on the PC, which I never got a chance to get the hold of. Um, sorry, I gotta admit I don't have that game. I have it for PlayStation One, which was the best way to play it. And um, it's one of those like, yeah, it's just a rail game. Then I noticed something when I played a a, a Midway game. And they came out with this Area 51. Yes, it's by Midway. And this game is by Midway. Wait a minute. Does okay. Mmm. Pepsi. Proving, proving it. I gotta need a refill. Ugh. Okay. Now, this game. I was shocked by the trailer. So you guys gotta check out the trailer. I was like, whoa, I gotta check it out. Nice graphics. It's the first person shooter of Alien 51. Now I get to play Area 51. They made a sequel of this version, the rail version. Um, Black, I was not, I, don't, I, was, I forgot what it's called, but all I, I didn't care for it. All I cared was to play this one. And it has uh, voice actors David Duchovny, Merlin Manson, um, Powers Booth. I don't know if you heard of a uh, Powers Booth. You gotta check his resume. He's a very good actor, working Van Dam and all that. And the graphics was amazing. But the game is, I kid you not, it's it, it's capped in 30 frames per second. But it's still a great playable game for first-person shooting. It's capped in 30 frames per. No matter how strong your computer is, it's capped in 30 frames per second. Sorry to say that. And now let's do the unboxing. What do you get inside it? Disc 1. Disc 2. Disc 3. So it's a 3 disc. And of course, see if you can win this alien hardware. Alienware, you know. <laughs> Alienware. Uh, Alienware was very attractive by their, you know, nice... Uh, you know tower base until China started making their own and it's it runs great on the ATI graphics thank God I'm AMD and it comes with the instruction manual and talks about it. it's on black and white and shows all the baddies and it shows the sequel of the suffering the suffering is an underrated title it became a freeware for some Marines out there to play check it out it's a very good title now I am gonna get to the last step I for some reason I am not able to play this game uh, it's a heavily modified uh, Unreal Engine version of, of it because Unreal Engine runs great on Nvidia graphics but this is a heavily modified version so you can play in the AMD okay this is an AMD supported game 
um, I was shocked when I bought this game. It says PC DVD, but it should put an S because it came with two DVDs and it took almost 45 minutes for me to install it. Yes. Now, and, and, and it's unplayable on Windows 8.1. You have to have Windows 7 to play it, you know? And, of course, in these clamshell covers, you just get these basic... Wait, what's that? Yeah, another Alienware. Yeah, I mean, you can't play in the show's guns. The beginning of the game, I gotta say, it was great. It seemed the most realistic part of the game. And then the rest became, um... One of those, um... It now it became alien tactics instead of, uh... <laughs> what you would expect. You know, um... But yeah, um, this is one of the rare, these are a rare gem because later, um, I believe Stranglehold was in the same position Strang um, with Chow Yon Fat, AMD, Unreal Engine that supports AMD and Radeon. Yes, even the cheapest Radeon graphics card runs this game fluently. So, and it, I was shocked again. What's inside the box? Instruction manual. Oh, yes, and they were advertising the movies. Okay, Hard Boiled and Area Black Site. I bought this game first, and that's how I was like, Area 51. Oh, okay, finally. But it's not a sequel to Area 51. I thought this was a reboot or remake. But, uh, yeah. And then the registration card again. And guess what? Two DVDs to install this game? They're really that compressed? That's before Blu-rays. And now these are two rare games to play because it's the heavily, I mean Midway is making software for PC. This is a rare way to play Unreal Engine games on your PC that's a heavily modified. Yes, it's very modified. So these are Midway arcade hits that I have. I just would like to talk about and I thank you for watching and check out my other reviews and my unboxing of this games that I have. Thank you for watching.